If any human has moved far enough around the Earth to see the whole planet, it is Sir David Attenborough. The knighted British naturalist's six-decade career has taken him across the globe to observe its stupefying array of biodiversity. What he has not seen in person, he has narrated in a voice as soothing and gravelly as a babbling brook. Attenborough, now a sprightly 95, has made a retrospective of his time on and with Earth in the hopes that we can save the planet he has documented, lovingly and pristinely, and we have destroyed. Attenborough was born on May 8, 1926, in a suburb of London. The second of three boys born to a university principal and a writer. David's older brother Richard became an Academy Award-winning actor and director, and his younger brother, John became a top executive at the Italian car company Alfa Romeo. Despite the relative urban surroundings in which he lived, Attenborough's fascination with the natural world developed early and by the age of seven, he had assembled a sizable collection of bird eggs and fossils. He attended a lecture by famous naturalist Gray Owl in 1936 which deepened his interest in the subject, and after graduating from high school, he was awarded a scholarship to study the natural sciences at the University of Cambridge. Upon completing his studies in 1947, Attenborough was called to serve for two years in the Royal Navy. In 1949, Attenborough returned to London and found work as an editor for an educational publisher. In 1952 he completed a training program at BBC and became a television producer for the BBC. Together with the reptile curator Jack Lester, in 1954 he originated the television series ZooQuest, in which live animals were filmed in the wild and in zoos. This show proved enormously popular and widened the scope of the educational programming offered by the BBC. In 1965 Attenborough became controller of the BBC's new second television channel, BBC Two. In this capacity he helped launch the dramatic production, the Foresight Saga and such landmark cultural educational series as Jacob Bronowski's The Ascent of Man and Kenneth Clark's Civilization. He also aired the seminal comedy series Monty Python's Flying Circus. During his tenure, the station crossed over to color television, and Attenborough was instrumental in expanding its natural history content. Yet Attenborough could not shake the passion that had remained with him since his youth, and in 1972, he resigned from his post at the BBC to follow his dreams into the wild. After leaving the BBC, Attenborough began to write and produce TV series as a freelancer and quickly established himself with a string of successful programmes, including Eastwards with Attenborough in 1973, which featured an anthropological study of Indonesia, and The Tribal Eye in 1975, which examined tribal art throughout the world. But Attenborough's greatest success would come in 1976, when his programme Life on Earth first aired. A 96-episode examination of the role of evolution in nature, the show took Attenborough and his crews around the globe, using cutting-edge filming techniques to bring wildlife into homes worldwide, gaining an estimated viewing audience of more than 500 million. He has also narrated numerous other programs during this period, including the BBC's Wildlife on One, which Life on Our Planet, Life in Color with David Attenborough and Our Planet is streaming on Netflix. These documentaries raised words against population growth also. He is a patron of the organization Population Matters, which examines the impact of human population growth on the natural world, and the World Land Trust, which buys rainforests around the globe with the aim of preserving their wildlife. During his lifetime of achievement, Attenborough has received myriad honors. He was knighted in 1985, received the Order of Merit from Queen Elizabeth II in 2002 and holds at least 31 honorary degrees from British universities, including Oxford and Cambridge. He published his biography, Life on Air, in 2002, and in 2012, was the subject of the BBC documentary, Attenborough, 60 Years in the Wild. In 2014, a poll revealed that he was considered to be the most trustworthy public figure in Britain. Attenborough is also the most travelled person in recorded human history and is the oldest person to have ever visited the North Pole. But in perhaps the most fitting tribute of all, several species of plants, insects and birds have been graced with Attenborough's name, ensuring that it will live alongside the many creatures that he has spent his life celebrating and protecting.